Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how we can compute the mean from a frequency distribution table. So over here on the right I have um, my raw scores, right? And then I have the frequency, how many times those raw scores um, come up in my study. And then this one is kind of a newer one. This is called f of x. And any time you have two letters butted up right next to each other, you just multiply. So f times x. Right, so the first one is um, 10, right, that's a raw score of 10, and then um, you have 10 times 1, so you're going to have 10, and then 9 times 2, you'll have uh, 18, and then 8 times 24, or 4, you have 24, uh, z 7 times 0 is still 0, and then um, 6 times 1 is 1. Now again, this sum right here just means add them up. So f of, or sum of f is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1, so um, sum of f is 8. Now your, your, um, your n, right, your symbol for n, that's your number of people in your study. Or if you want to think of it like sum of f, that's okay too. So n equals um, your sum of f, or in this case 8, right? And then sum of f of x is just adding up all your f of x's. So you have 10 plus 18 um, plus 24 plus 0 plus 6, and, um, and we get um, 66. Now, um, so we have sum of f of x as 66. Our mean is sum of, if you want to think of it, f of x divided by n. So sum of f of x would be 66 divided by 8, right? And so our mean um, for, for this frequency distribution table is 8.25. You don't hear the term sum of f of x a lot in statistics classes or statistics books. I was taught it when I was learning statistics, so it's a little trick that I use. Um, technically mean is sum of x divided by n, but if you want to think of it like sum of f of x times n makes it easier.